Of all the many and severe problems that the first marble machine had, the muting system was the absolute worst and the single biggest reason to why the first machine did not work. For the Marble Machine X we have designed a completely different solution that will give me control over what instruments are playing and what instruments are silent. Me and Marius have worked together on this and it's been a long journey in CAD and this week it was finally time to start assembling some parts of the muting system in real life. We begin manufacturing the parts on the other side of this planet in Perth, Australia and with my new friend Seth from Roy's Sheds. Take it away Seth. Basically I created square tubing which is a stock product but I didn't have anything at home. I'm happy that I came this close. Look 25.09. The goal was 25 millimeter. So this really screams professionality doesn't it? So in the end I was able to cut this mistake off and we have a functional part. I kind of want to see this as a success because it's a step in the way of learning and uh, I got the part working. So this is with a new thinner tungsten. And I think that was a good choice for this application. It feels like the thicker one is overkill. Oh, nay. <laughs> I absolutely welded it on upside down, didn't I? I've been taking some measurements here that I can carry with me down to the workshop because now I'm going to weld on these. 
these things. Everything is welded on and the part looks like a movie prop from an alien movie. And I have a huge amount of distortion because I've only welded on two sides. Which means that the sides that I've been welding on will be contracting and you can see how completely banana the whole thing I've become. This is really much and we also have in this direction. So I'm going to try to fix this by heating up the back side here. Here's a visual help for you, you should be able to see more and more of this label. So that worked, you can see more of the logo down here now. And if I measure, I have one distance there, same there, same there, same there, same there. So I think you can see here that I actually did a pretty good job at getting this straight again. It looks like this like skeleton riding a motorcycle t-shirt. 8mm rod, 12, uh, 16, 20, 25 and 30. Then this part slides on here so we can repair and remove stuff. There, Marble Machine X Mad Max mode. <laughs> This one is ready, now we can start with these. The levers for the base section is done and now I just have to add one deciliter of annoying jokes to the video, like that. So the inside circles here are quite concentric as you can see. And I can now Open these screws, slide this on, 36. Hey, yeah what? Did you see that new kid in town? What? He's just to the left of you. I'm just controlling the Hyatt, okay? Uh, okay, yeah, yeah. And if there's any food around here, it's gonna be mine. So the first eight channels here mutes the bass guitar. And the next one. It's the crash symbol, two channels. Next one is the hi hat, two channels. Next one is the snare drum, two channels. And then we have kick drum, two channels. And then we have the big one, the vibraphone, 22 channels. 11 notes doubled up. This is the registrator for the crash channel and these things goes through these channels. So normally this is the normal position, these things connect and everything will move when a programming pin hits the registrator. But when I pull the muting lever this happens. So we have a disconnect here which means that the programming pin can still hit this and this can move back and forth like this but we won't have any note play. And then boom, we connect again. 
Now the instrument is playing, marbles will drop, now the instrument is muted. So this muting system sits up here normally, but I'm not going to mount it on the marble machine today because this temporary MDF frame is maybe not strong enough. But anyway, the progress goes on. Uh, this is so fun seeing things coming to real from the cat. So the muting system of the Marble Machine X is probably the single most improved section of the Marble Machine X compared to the first Marble Machine. And seeing these little birds in action moving like I want them to move makes me very confident about this solution. The real steel frame is going to be delivered in a few days and with that I can really start to mount things permanently on the Marble Machine X. Thanks so much to Seth also from Royce Sheds in Perth Australia for this amazing job with the laser tractor. Okay, thanks so much for watching and see you on the next video. Have a nice